The drought conditions are getting worse. Yesterday, Governor Newsom warned that there could be statewide water restrictions if water agencies do not start saving more water. So ABC 10's meteorologist Carly Gomez spoke to urban ecologists who say a large amount of your water could easily be cut back and save you money. 50% of the water for residential uses is used for landscaping. That's a significant amount of water that we can't afford anymore to be wasted. Sacramento, known as the city of trees, also lays in a landscape known for drying grasses and wildfire outbreaks. But there's one secret plant scientists Jennifer Funk and Alessandra Osola say this city has that may help it from overheating. Our valley oaks like are probably one of the species that used to be really common before we cut them all down. And so they can access groundwater. And so they can almost be kind of escape drought because like they're not relying on any of the, the precipitation. Trees are known for dropping temperatures significantly across our urban landscapes. While trees are a great place to start, not everyone has the room to plant a tree. Lawns are overall very water hungry. They consume a lot of water. So there are alternatives for replacing them with uh, uh, California native species. Just behind the suburbs, you may have seen them blooming with all their glory. Those are things like poppies and um, gold fields and some of our bulbs um, that we have that are just really bright, showy flowers. That are Making sure you're watering early in the morning, either through drip or sprinkler irrigation, is key to helping your plants survive the day. We really need to select plants that can withstand these conditions, not only acute conditions like we might have you know, this particular year, but really uh, conditions that might be perpetrating over decades now.